a narcissistic person is looking to seduce you they're looking to sell themselves as attractive they're looking to gain something from you by selling you an illusion of their potential an illusion of who they are an illusion of what you could potentially have together they're going to seduce you, to persuade you into believing something you wouldn't ordinarily believe in or do something you wouldn't usually do. They're going to seduce you, to persuade you into some form of relationship with them so that the narcissist can get their needs met by you. And they usually seduce you by selling you some form of an illusion. An illusion has several meanings and a narcissist often delivers on each and every one of these meanings. The illusion is where they sell you a wrong representation of themselves. They misrepresent who they are as a person so you misinterpret who they are as a person. They misrepresent who they are as a person to you, get you to believe in somebody that they are not. And in the beginning of the relationship, this is incredibly difficult to see because they are mirroring who you are as a person to sell you an illusion that they get you. So whatever life experience you've been through, they've usually been through very similar and they understand you. Whatever you're going through at that moment, they've been through similar and they truly understand you. Whatever you want out of your future, they want too. And they are going to sell that future to you as though they want it to, which makes it difficult to break free from them because not only are you losing out on your hopes, your dreams, your future, you also believe that you're letting them down. And as in the beginning, when a narcissist is seducing you, when they're selling you that illusion, they are literally going to be delivering on the promises they make in the beginning. And then when they get you where they want you, they're going to stop delivering on these promises that they once made to you, yet they're going to find a way to blame you so that you're the one that's left questioning and doubting and blaming yourself. You're the one that's left thinking it doesn't happen very often. They're not that bad. They've had a bad day. If only I. You're the one that's left ruminating and changing yourself time and time again to bring back the person who sold you an illusion to seduce you into the relationship with them so that they could exploit you. An illusion is a false belief, a false idea and a narcissist is going to sell you a false belief of who they potentially can be as a person so that you cling on to that belief, you cling on to that idea. They're going to sell you the illusion to seduce you into believing and trusting within them. They're going to give you that reason to get out of bed in the morning in the beginning. They're going to give you that reason, that belief, that meaning to your life by selling you an illusion of the things that you would like out of life, not recognising that they don't want those things. They just want something from you. An illusion is a deceptive appearance of togetherness. And a narcissist in the beginning is going to be very good at selling you that illusion that they are there for you. They're going to come on strong with the love bombing stage and as the love bombing stage often includes the five love languages, so they're going to seduce you, but they're going to come on strong. We often mistake the narcissist's intensity as intimacy when it's not. It, it's not intimacy, it's intensity. So it's not the love language of giving of gifts. They're going to be over the top in the giving of gifts. It's not the love language of words of affirmation. They're going to be over the top in flattery, not genuine compliments. It's not the love language of wanting to spend time with you, which is the illusion that they sell us. We believe they want to spend time with us. They are literally bombarding us 
to get us so used to being around them, it's incredibly difficult to step away from them. When it comes to a narcissistic relationship, the entire relationship is usually built on an illusion. And this is very difficult for most people to come to terms with because you you lived the past, you experienced the past as what it was at that given moment on, in time. And then at some point, the narcissist does something to pull the rug from underneath you. And then your, your present is torn to pieces to the point where your past no longer makes sense and you begin to wonder whether any of it was real where your your meaning of your future has just disappeared from you right in front of you so you no longer know what your existence is what what your meaning of life is where you are going within your life because a narcissist has cheated on you or a narcissist has betrayed you in some way and you find out about that betrayal not only do you find out about that betrayal a narcissist will outright deny this or lie about it or find a way to blame you and then they bring back the illusion of who they can be or they bring back up the things that they did do for you to get you to question yourself. The, the idealisation stage of the relationship with a narcissist is all part of the narcissist's seduction of you to sell you an illusion, to sell you a belief of who that person could potentially be. The devaluation stage of the relationship, again, is an illusion because they're selling you a belief of who you are based on what they want you to think of yourself so that they can further manipulate you easier. If they can destroy your self-esteem, if they can destroy your self-worth, they're going to find it easier to manipulate your mind. And it, it's a very real illusion because we live that experience. However, what they're saying about us isn't true about us. In the discard, this is often an illusion as a narcissist usually isn't getting their supply of attention that they want from us at that moment in time. So they sell us the belief that the relationship is over and they've disappeared on us and it's no longer working out yet. As soon as it's not working out with their new supply, they come back again to sell us an illusion that we'll, all will be okay, only it never works out that way with a narcissistic person because they are literally seducing you to get their needs met by you. The final discard often comes from you. It is very difficult to break free from that because we have that belief and when that belief is shattered it causes an awful lot of pain and this is when we have to build up new beliefs for ourselves, new meanings for our lives. We have to learn to create the boundaries, not to tell other people who we are, but in order to protect ourselves. We have to create a new vision of our future. We have to decide what we want to accomplish in a day to get us out of that bed, to get us motivated into doing so that we can achieve something in our future. When it comes to breaking free from a narcissistic relationship, there is a lot of trauma bonding and there is also a lot of belief that if you just try it a different way due to the illusion the narcissist has sold you. As much as we often want to know why, as much as we often want closure, this is usually because we want some form of meaning to what we have just experienced. But finding that meaning in what we've just experienced often leaves us trapped in the past. A lot of people find themselves learning about narcissism, narcissistic behaviour, because it gives us that meaning. However, that, that needs to be done while creating a new meaning for ourselves, creating a new vision 
for our lives so that we can give ourselves the closure, so that we can give ourselves the answers as to why they behaved in certain ways and why things didn't work out as we were led to believe they would, as, as a narcissist will sell you an illusion to raise your expectations while lowering your standards. So we then have to create new boundaries, new standards, new reasons and new meaning to our life. Get creative, start doing all the things that you always wanted to do, especially the things that the narcissist stopped you from doing. Start writing down where you would like to be six months from now and start taking those little baby steps to get yourself there. Just look around at the simple things that you can achieve to prove to yourself that you can achieve them because by doing the simple things in life it gives you that boost of confidence to achieve what seemingly at that moment in time feels like the unachievable or the greater things in life that you feel are out of your reach start by getting organized in your home getting organized in your thoughts writing things down to process to learn take those baby steps because they soon add up and at the end of each evening recognize how far you've come and not how far you've got to go and on those difficult days keep going keep finding that motivation within you to keep going and then once you've kept going and you've achieved something recognize that when you hit those hard days again that if you just keep going a little bit longer you will get there again and this is for you this this isn't to keep going in a narcissistic relationship because a narcissist is always looking to sell you that illusion to seduce you while they are covertly sabotaging you so it's about finding the things that you want from your life to give you the strength to give you the meaning to get up and keep going if anyone has any thoughts on this video please do add those into the comments Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. If you are new to the channel, I'm Liz for sure. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, then please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support and understanding in overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.